happy Halloween. I am standing outside because my house is pretty loud right now. My entire family is here for Halloween. We are going to eat. We got some things from Chick-fil-A. I'll share everything with you. And then the kids are going to get dressed up in their costumes and we are going to go trick-or-treating. And I will tell you, Yes, my neighborhood is still having trick-or-treating today, even with COVID. You guys, we're going to wear our masks and social distance and all of that. And I can tell you, I'm so blessed that we have nice weather today. It has rained all week long, and the sun is shining, and it's not extremely cold. So I am so happy with the weather that we have today. Okay, and it's about 420, I guess you would say. Yes, 420. So I got a crock pot, and I broke it. So I'm going to have to go get another one. So we had to make Rotel on the stove. Then this is the medium chicken nugget tray from Chick-fil-A. And then we got the ranch and I think this ranch and Chick-fil-A sauce. That's what we got. My sister made this dip here. If I can find the recipe, I will link it for you. I don't even know if she has a recipe. It's got chocolate chips and cream cheese and several oh, powdered sugar. And then she made me some that was gluten-free that's in the fridge, I think. Then we have a fruit tray from Chick-fil-A. If you've never had one of their fruit trays, highly recommend them. This is probably like the third or fourth time we've actually ordered the fruit tray because it was a huge hit at Christmas. And then these Oreo dirt cups. I mentioned these, I think, last week during that vlog. And all it is is I'll pop in some clips of me making them. Those are gluten-free sandwich cookies that we crumble, crumbled up. And then it's got pudding and Cool Whip and milk mixed together. We layered it and then put some gluten-free gummy worms on the top. Okay, who we got here? Rocket and Groot in costume and in character. How cute is that? And then Kate is a party pooper. Okay, press the little button on the side. I am great. And then her little toilet seat. Go still! That is so cute! Look at me, Logan. All right, get in. No! And it's trick-or-treating time. We've all got our masks on to make sure that we are following guidelines. Poor Kate. Okay, we're getting to the goal house every single year. This house is always decorated so adorably. Look at all of the decoration. This is new this year. Oh, I like this. These people just laid their candy on the table so people could grab it for the social distancing. I like that. How beautiful that sky is today. That sky is beautiful right now. Oh, I'm so glad we've got such good weather. Look at this house. Oh, and they've got a fog machine too. Get this on film. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like the mask underneath too. You do what works. It worked. <laughs> Look at all the candy. Good lord. Oh my gosh. 
and it is a new day it is now sunday november 1st so i know i kind of just ended the halloween portion of this vlog but it got a little chaotic and we all came in and got baths taken and snacked and all of that after trick-or-treating so now today everybody is gone and now is the time when we switch from halloween to christmas so i'm going to turn this camera around and share with you what this office looks like it is a mess but we're gonna take it one thing at a time to kind of get some organization going in here. So all of this over here is all of the Halloween organization. So I do wanna share that with you, but it's kind of behind the Christmas tree right now. So this is the Disney Christmas tree that I'm actually gonna set up right now. And then I wanna share with you over here some of the stuff that I've got going on. This is a lot of the Christmas stuff that I have purchased to start putting out. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen some of it. Some of it you may not have, some of it's new. So I'm gonna share everything here and we're gonna get this all put together. So the Disney tree, this is actually a tree that was my mom's. I mentioned this, I wanna say in last week's vlog. It was my mom's, it was pretty lit and all the lights went out and she wanted to get a new one. So we told her not to get rid of it and my husband after I think two or three Christmases ago, he sat for a solid day and cut all of the lights off the tree. So it's a beautiful tree, so we just have to put the lights on it. So all we're going to do right now is I am going to get it moved right here in front of this window. Okay, the tree is now put up, and I've already swept this tree underneath twice. I didn't realize every time you touch it, needles fall out of it. So, I'm going to leave it sitting there until at least tomorrow. It's put up. It's off the floor, so that's good. So, now to the Halloween storage. So, if you watched my video last week, my goal was to do everything in separate boxes. So, have a box or two of mugs, a box of Jim Shore, a box of Funkos, and then a box of, like, everything else. All of the like tablecloths and kitchen towels and all of that well it didn't work like that because not everything was fitting the way i wanted it to in the boxes and you can probably hear my dryer so i just had to fit it in the boxes as best as i could so you guys it's really in no order at all but i will tell you that i don't know where it's going right now because like the gym shore i don't want to put that in the attic I don't want to put my Funkos in the attic, so we're going to get them all put together. Well, they're all put together. And then this right here is my Mickey Trick or Treat um, bowl, that big ceramic one. So it's got a box of its own, and there's no sense putting a box within a box when the box is as big as the tote. So all of it's put together. Then I have these right here that I made today. So the scrapbook paper on the very back I probably had that for probably five or six years now, if not longer. So I just pulled the random pieces out that I thought looked like Halloween and made a little smaller black scrapbook paper on the front, used my label maker to do Halloween, and then laminated them. So I'm going to probably try to double side tape it to the front. So that is how that will be organized. And it looks like that one's kind of loose. I might need to run that one through one more time. Okay, so I was actually able to put three of the five Halloween tubs in the office closet at the very top. One has mugs, the Disney mugs, the other has Funkos, and the other one has Jim Shore. And then I have my Disney treat bucket up there as well. Not sure if I'm going to keep them in here. I know I don't want them to go in the attic because I want to make sure they're in a spot that is air conditioned and heated and all of that. I don't want it to be in the weather. So, if it doesn't work up there, I may end up putting it at the back. I'm really not sure. I just want to keep them at the top to keep them out of the way at the moment. And then these two will go in the attic. They have like linens and, you know, Dollar Tree, you know, skeletons and skulls and all of that. Stuff that does not matter if it gets put in the attic. So, that is going to go in the attic. So, that's all put away. 
cleaned up area. So now I want to share what I've got going on over here. So this is some of the stuff that I have gotten in the last couple of weeks and I've seriously just thrown it in here. I am seriously out of breath. <laughs> That's not good. I probably need to exercise more. So I'm just going to pull a few things over here at a time and just keep adding so I'm not everything at one time. So these, I ordered these from Hobby Lobby just off of a whim. I thought, oh, let me see. These might be really cute. You guys, they are adorable. They are these little cone trees. Let me take them out of the plastic so you can see them better. There we go. So that is what they look like. How adorable is that? So I'm going to try to do a gingerbread type of theme in the kitchen. Do more of a food Christmas type of theme in the kitchen. I usually do elves, but I want to do some gingerbread this year. So I thought those would match perfectly. This, I'm always in need of these. I wish they would have had this in white as well, but they didn't. So I'm going to use this to kind of use last little tear display. This came from Home Goods and it was $7.99. I thought that was a steal. I wish they would have had this in white too because I was going to get that as well. These are from Hobby Lobby and I got these for Kate and Derek's tree. This was the only way that I could find white shatterproof ornaments. No glitter, anything like that, white. And not every one of them are plain white. That's got the glitter on it. I want to make Baymax's face on these ornaments. So, and then the red ones will go on Kate's tree. Then my Mickey gingerbread cookie jar. This is from Shop Disney, and I will tell you that I went back and forth on getting this cookie jar for several weeks. And I finally, I was going to wait until it went on sale. And then I didn't want to have an incident like the Mickey cake stand in it to sell out and not come back and me regret it and then have to search for it and it's like triple the price. So I got it and it is adorable. It is so much cuter in person than it is on the website. So I will link anything that I talk about that's available. I will link it. Okay, next set of things, the gingerbread Ray Dunn cookie jar and it's got stuffing in it. So that's why, that's why it's not closing right now. So I ended up getting this on Mercari, and the reason I got it on there is because I had sold some things and I had some credit. So basically with the credit, I paid for the canister the same price that it would have been in the store. So I went ahead and got it on Mercari so I wouldn't have to search for it. This is a two-tiered tray. I've never had a white one. So y'all, my kitchen is mostly white, and I'm like, why do I not have a white two-tiered tray. So I decided to go with the rectangular one. This is from, this is on Amazon. It is from Felt Creative Home Goods. There we go. I will link it. I got it off Amazon and here is the best part if I can find them. Oh, here they are. It's got three different little handles at the top. So if you want to change, you can. So it's got gold, it's got brushed gold, brushed silver, and black. These I got from TJ Maxx. I just happened upon them and they had four. I got two and then I got my sister one. I mean, how cute is that? I cannot wait to decorate with those. So, so cute. Next up are these $1 trees from Target. They were in the Target dollar spot and they are the perfect size to go beside my Disney Lego castle. So I got that for that purpose. So I just thought they were so cute. $1, $1. And I got five. So I got three like this and then two that were the frosted. Okay, I got a few things from Hobby Lobby. I am, if you've been part of this community for any length of time, you know sometimes my DIYs turn out and sometimes they don't. Well, I'm going to try DIY. So, the common question for today is going to be, do you want me to do a video on these DIYs or just share them when they're finished? So, that's going to be the common question. Would you like to see these Disney DIYs that I'm going to attempt? Can't promise they're going to work out, but we're going to see. So, I got these for a DIY. I only had one of these got one of the large one and then I got I want to say 
four of the smaller one. So I got four of these. So I got the white ones and the red ones. So I got two red. Did I get two red? And then four white or vice versa. And then, no, I guess I got two white and then four red. They were running out of these at Hobby Lobby. Okay. And then I got these for my Disney castle. I'm going to see if these will go over the steeples on the top of the castle. So I get this for the front. And then I got these for either side, both sides of the castle. We'll see if they don't work there, I'll find some use for them. So I got two of those and then one of these. Is that it? Not my, oh, one other thing. And then I got this paper cutter. This was actually on sale. So instead of using scissors, I wanted to try one of these for a while. It actually, you just run it down the wrapping paper and it cuts because I'm not the greatest at cutting a straight line with scissors on wrapping paper. So I thought I would give this a shot. So that is what I got from Hobby Lobby. And then last but not least, I got these items from Home Goods today. I got this little cheer bell. It's already done. And these are so cute. Y'all know I have a Mickey mug rack and I have struggled to find enough holiday mugs to fit so these are going to go on there santa and santa's helper so you guys that is the stuff that i have purchased in the last couple of weeks and i'm basically at a stopping point purchasing christmas except for i'm looking for the ray dunn gingerbread birdhouse i will pop in a picture of it i want that birdhouse really bad so other than that i need to get everything from the attic out to see what i have before i get anything else because i have no idea what i have in the attic i probably need to inventory what i do have so i know from year to year but i have not done that yet and I will be keeping all of the wrapping stuff from Hobby Lobby and from TJ Maxx and Home Goods because I will use that for Christmas packing when I do all the boxes, put all the decor items up. And that is all for this Halloween and day after Halloween vlog. Don't forget the common question for today is would you like to see me do a video on some Disney DIY Christmas items? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.